building. Eight officers were wounded, and now Davis is on trial. The jury selection, however, has been slow and controversial. Charges of racial bias flying about the courtroom. And as correspondent David Goldstein reports, the judge in the case agrees and now must decide what to do. It has become a racial tug of war with accused cop shooter Larry Davis stuck in the middle. In the 12th day of jury selection, the prosecution has charged Davis's attorney, William Kunstler, with racism for purposely excluding whites from the prospective jury panel. In return, the defense charged the DA's office with excluding blacks. It is a racist concept to exclude a person simply because of the color of their skin. Uh, that is racist and must be condemned. So far, six jurors have been sworn in, and five of those are black. And defense attorneys have already challenged eight white prospective jurors, dismissing them without any reason. The 21-year-old Davis is charged with nine counts of first-degree attempted murder, all stemming from a wild shootout with police two years ago. Six cops were injured. Davis escaped, but was captured 17 days later. Since the trial will pit the black defendant against white police officers, he claims we're out to get him. Kunstler admits he's been trying to get a mostly black jury. I'd like a third world jury. That's a jury of his peers. I think they would understand the situation. They wouldn't be overwhelmed by the fact that it's police officers. Why are they trying to do the opposite? But Supreme Court Justice Bernard Freed cried foul, ruling there was reason to believe jurors were being excluded because of race. He sided with the prosecution, prompting Kunstler to allege the judge is biased against his client. And I think it is not a legal, but a political and a decision coming out of your own personal ambition. But so there has been legal precedent. Last year, the judge in the Howard Beach trial ruled that defense attorneys were barred from excluding blacks solely on race. He added that attorneys would have to give non-racial explanations when trying to dismiss prospective jurors. That is one of the options the judge can now consider. He can also dismiss those six jurors who've already been sworn in and then start from the beginning. But right now his decision is on hold until Monday as Kunstler appeals to a higher court. In the Bronx, David Goldstein, Channel 2 News.